The M86ALCM is an American subsonic air-launched cruise missile, ALCM, built by Boeing, and operated by the United States Air Force. This missile was developed to increase the effectiveness and survivability of the Boeing B-52H Stratofurcher strategic bomber. The missile deletes an enemy's forces, and complicates the air defense of this territory. So much that it emerged as a weapon allowing the B-52s to launch their attacks, while still well outside Soviet airspace, saturating their defenses with hundreds of tiny, low-flying targets that were extremely difficult to see on radar. The ALCM so improved the capabilities of the US bomber force, that the Soviets developed new technologies to counter the weapon. Among these were airborne early warning aircraft, and new weapons like the MiG-31 and Tor missile systems specifically, to shoot down the AM-86. The Air Force responded with the development of the AM-129 ACM, which included stealth capabilities. The ending of the Cold War led to cutbacks in this program, and its expensive maintenance eventually resulted in it being abandoned in favor of life extensions to the original ALCM. All variants of the AM-86 missile are powered by a Williams F-107 turbofan jet engine that propels it at sustained subsonic speeds, and can be launched from aircraft at both high and low altitudes. The missile deploys its folded wings, tail surfaces, and engine inlet after launch. AG M-86 BCD missiles increase flexibility in target selection. M-86B missiles can be air-launched in large numbers by the bomber force. B-52H bombers carry six M-86B or M-86C missiles on each of two externally mounted pylons and eight internally on a rotary launcher, giving the B-52H a maximum capacity of 20 missiles per aircraft. An enemy force would have to counterattack each of the missiles individually, making defense against them costly and complicated. The enemy's defenses are further hampered by the missile's small size and low altitude flight capability, which makes them difficult to detect on radar. M86 CDCALCM carries a conventional fragmentation payload, rather than a thermonuclear payload. The M86 CD uses an onboard global positioning system, GPS, coupled with its inertial navigation system, INS, to navigate in flight. This allows the missile to guide itself to the target with pinpoint accuracy. Litton Guidance and Control and Interstate Electronics Corporation were the guidance contractors for the C model. As SCAD moved from the pure decoy role to decoy and attack, this meant it would be able to carry out the same mission as SRAM, but from a much longer range. This would reduce the need for a decoy. Accordingly, in June 1973, SCAD was cancelled in favor of a system dedicated purely to the long-range attack mission. The original designation number remained, but the name changed to reflect the new mission, becoming the Air Launch Cruise Missile, or ALCM. The first example, similar to the original SCAD in most ways, flew for the first time in March 1976, and its new guidance system was first tested that September. In January 1977, the missile was ordered into full-scale production. Compared to the models that entered service in the 1980s, the A model had a distinctive look. The nose tapered sharply to a triangular point giving it a shark-like appearance, compared to the later models which had a more rounded conventional appearance. In 2007 the USAF announced its intention to retire all of its AM-129 ACMs, and to reduce the ALCM fleet by more than 500 missiles, leaving 528 nuclear cruise missiles. The ALCM force will be consolidated at Mino Air Force Base, North Dakota, and all excess cruise missile bodies will be destroyed. The reductions are a result of the Strategic Offensive Reductions Treaty requirement to go below 2,200 deployed nuclear weapons by 2012, with the AM-129 ACM chosen for disposal, because it has reliability problems and high-maintenance cost technology development contracts were to be submitted before the end of 2012. In March 2014 a further three-year delay in the project was announced by the Department of Defense, delaying a contract award until the fiscal year 2018. The House Armed Services Committee moved to reject this delay. The delay was caused by financial pressures and an uncertain acquisition plan and allowed by the long remaining service life left for the M86 and lack of urgent necessity compared to other defense needs. As of August 24, 2017, the Department of Defense has awarded both Lockheed Martin and Raytheon Corporations $900 million to develop the LRSO. Contracts end in 2022, when the Department of Defense will select one design to continue further developments. As of August 24, 2017, the Department of Defense has awarded both Lockheed Martin and Raytheon Corporations $900 million to develop the LRSO. Contracts end in 2022, when the Department of Defense will select one design to continue further developments.